A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us.
out of here. way.
Is anyone listening? Please respond. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Gonna be, you know? Let's see if this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. 
You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. I'm so hungry. I need to find something to eat. Okay, so Tomb Raider, from what I heard, is the very first Tomb Raider that will lead into uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Rise. Um, probably got those two mixed around. I do eventually um, get them right, but at the moment I probably got them wrong. Um, but I'm excited. Honestly, I'm excited to play this game. I'm excited to see what you all think of it. Um, and hopefully uh, you all enjoy it. But, yeah. I hope that the stream isn't blurry for you all. I do feel bad. I, I do get a bit upset. To the least. When uh, things ain't going the way I want them to. Like, when I'm looking at it on the stream, like, looking at it on my TV and looking at it on the, on the um, live stream, yes, there is a big difference, obviously. My knee's been fine. Just relaxing. Alright, uh, keen observation allows you to spot hard to find animals and, f uh, and food resources. Earn extra rewards when looting animal corpses and food caches. Fill research crates and caches to find extra salvage. Carefully looting animal corpses will reward you with extra salvage. Um, what do you think, chat? Animal instincts? Like, if I need to get food later on down the line, I think that's what's going to be more important. You know what, I'm going to go with this. Um, L1, which is, I think, L2 for me. Alright, we got that one, chat. Nice. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, what did that say? I wasn't paying attention. Music. Just keep moving, find a way out of the forest. Okay. Honestly, this game is really cool, though. Hello? If you Hello? look at it... Is someone there? Oh, God. Please don't be a freaking jump scare. I already got jump scared in the freaking cave. I don't need another one. This could be a way through. If you look at the comparison between Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, they show a, on YouTube they show a side by side comparison of how the games look before and after. And also you should um, give it a look chat. Honestly this game is a W. Like I've wanted this game for a long time and yes it went on for sale for like 4 or 5 pounds I think it was. And I was like you know what, it's, it's going to be worth getting it. You know, if I want, if I want to play Tomb Raider again, it, it's definitely worth getting this game to then figure out the story for the other ones that I've got. For Rise and what Tomb Raider. Uh, for Rise and Shadows of Tomb Raider. It's like uh, Avatar. Oh God, this is insane. No mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Honestly, I think that's what it is. I think this game is in, like, high definition already, due to being the definitive edition. And that's why I'm not able to put in 720p or higher quality. I know it sounds stupid to say that, but, you know, if I was streaming for a capture card and that, Sam? I think it'd be no competition. Did you get that? Got it. 
We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Oh, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right. Him ago. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says... She had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <gasps> but what happened to her? They were both gone. You can't shoot Nico one time off. We need to find them. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay. Let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. Gonna be okay? Yes, I. Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit. Uh, you sit here. I'll. Uh, <clears throat> I'll check up with that. Okay.
can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Laura doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. <laughs> That's probably going to drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. Interesting. I used to literally just hunt. Get food, supplies and stuff, salvage and all that. All right, Laura. So we give it a go then. Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're right, ready. Here we go. You're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman. Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <laughs> You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No. I'm handling this. No. Oh. No. Please. Get off. Oh. Just, just go along with them, Laura. Oh. Do it. Do whatever they say. Дай меня пистолет. Иди. Пошла. Who are you people? What do you mean by that? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. Silence, girl. А ты вет хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Run them up! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! Let's go. Let's go. Люди ще грати в прятки, малишка. Думаю, що дасть та спас. No one escapes. Out! Village out! Ugh. You gotta love a dodgy old sea trap. There we go, triangle. I'm not sure you'll be a paranoid chase. I'm doing the best I can. Come on. There we go. 
Oh my god. That's my elf. Oh, that's even more gruesome in Definitive Edition. You. I actually forgot how gruesome that looked, but on the PS3 it didn't look that bad. I was like, eh, it's capable. Now in Definitive Edition it's like, obviously more graphical, more HD. Right. Okay, my sensitivity needs to definitely be nerfed a little bit. <laughs> Crikey. Well, I think my sensitivity is a bit too high. Throwing it in now. Think we'll get any new recruits out of this bunch? Ah, man, I don't know. Better for them. How do you figure? Well, how long's the last batch been in the pit? I don't know. A few weeks. Yeah, and they're probably starving by now. Nothing but blood and disease. Come on, what do you think's gonna happen if we throw one of those new ones in there? Oh, shit. Yeah. Eaten alive. <laughs> Bye. Lara, 
Are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh, God. Ross, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Ross. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Transmitter from the lifeboats in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. Also in the park. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. No. Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard.
just want the pack. That's all. young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, it should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. you're going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's happened my fast letter then. chat. I'm going to end the first part here. Leave a like, leave a comment, and hopefully you enjoy the content. Like I said, see you all Thursday. Peace out, and stay safe everyone.